Hello again, this is 9 Alpha 4 Queen Victor with a new video where I will try to demonstrate the myth that the uh, new modern SDR radios does not require the uh, front end as we know that the analog radios are using uh, instead of uh, using the uh, quadrature uh, down conversion by uh, subsampling and using the uh, finite impulse response anti-aliasing and uh, image uh, rejection filtering to achieve the, the same uh, quality and uh, signal to noise ratio. Basically this is true but uh, not 100% uh, and in this video I will try to show you actually that the old-fashioned um, front end with a filter uh, does improve the reception. So what I have here is uh, it's a, well, actually this is an overkill setup but this is good to demonstrate how the things are working. I have the antenna input. I'm using the simple Diamond X50. It's a, a dual band vertical antenna for uh, 144 and 432 megahertz. And then I have the uh, two relays, coaxial relays, where I can switch in line the uh, three pole helix filter tuned for the two meter band. So. In one position, I'm, I'm running signal through the uh, three-pole helix filter, and the other uh, uh, way, it's uh, bypassing the filter, going straight to the simple DVB-T dongle. So we have, I can switch the setup where I can use the filter or no filter at the input of the SDR radio. And then uh, we will see what's the difference. By the theory, there should be no difference. The signals should be same and there should be no improvement. As a matter of fact, uh, introducing the filter should uh, even uh, decrease the signal because there is insertion loss in the filter. So the, the, the signal should be even uh, weaker. Uh, so the antenna input, uh, this relays uh, designed to run on 26.5 uh, gigahertz, so this is really overkill. And if you want to buy setup on a free market like this one, it will cost you like something like 150 euro. But everything can be done uh, also cheap. So uh, input relay, uh, three pole coaxial, three pole uh, helix filter, uh, the output coaxial relay, and uh, straight to DVB-T dongle. Uh, so I can uh, I can uh, switch off and I can start the radio, so the frequency is 144.749. This is our beacon that it's, uh, that it's running, and you can notice the signal of the beacon. It's something like picking minus 135, 136, the best. This is a straight signal to the DVB-T dongle without a filter. And you can barely hear the beacon. Now I will introduce the filter. This is with a filter. See the difference? Almost 10 dB. I will wait for the carrier. So this is with a filter. Signal with a filter. A signal without the filter. You can see the difference. And it does matter when you receive the weak signal. With a filter and no filter at all. And I will leave the filter engaged. We can go down there the contest. So we continue for some frequency. I'm using the vertical uh, polarization, but with a filter, I 
Okay, we have a filter engaged. I'm going for the signal again to show you the difference. Maybe to look for some other guy. This is signal with the filter engaged, and this is without the filter. So waiting, sitting back, no filter, and now engaging the filter. Okay, so this is the 9 Alpha 4 using the uh, Bandpass filter in the front end without the preamplifier with the simple uh, DVD-T dongle. Thank you.